I'm Nancy Norman with Weekly Wisdom. Emerson said, all that I have seen teaches me to trust the Creator for all I have not seen. All I have seen teaches me to trust the Creator for all that I have not seen. That's faith. That's total faith. That's total trust. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, we read, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is a deep inner knowing, a complete trust in God. As one person put it, when you come to the edge of all the light that you know, and you are about to step off into the darkness of the unknown, faith is knowing that one of two things will happen. There will be something for you to stand solid, for you to stand on, or you will be taught how to fly. Faith is a gift from God, an absolute gift from God. I totally understand that, that, I mean, haven't you, at different times in your life, stepped to the edge of all that you knew and the only thing that you could do would be trust and have faith in God, knowing that as you step forward, you had no idea what the next step was, that the way would be made clear, that you would be standing on something solid, or you would be taught how to fly. Faith is a gift from God. So faith is always that that deep inner conviction a knowing that the power and the presence of God is with you always and there is nothing for you to fear. Having faith is like flying through a cloud, a cloud formation. You know, when you're on an airplane, you're flying through that, that cloud formation and you think the bumping and the swerving and the ups and the downs will never stop. But you know, you're flying through it and at the other side of that, that cloud formation, there are blue skies and smooth sailing. But we have to go through it. We have to go through it by having faith. So we come through those, those, those bumpy times in life by having that faith and soon sunny skies will appear. There's an ancient proverb that says, faith is a bird that sings to greet the dawn while it is still dark. While it is still dark. Faith can overcome anything, anything that may be troubling us. I have something that I want to share with you that is, is it, it, it gives me a great deal of faith. This is a poem or a piece written by Reverend James Dillip Freeman, a Unity minister, and it was taken to the moon on Apollo 15 by astronaut James B. Irwin, and it was left on the moon for future space um, voyagers. It says, and then the name of it is, I am there. Do you need me? I am there. You cannot see me, yet I am the light you see by. You cannot hear me, yet I speak through your voice. You cannot feel me, yet I am the power at work in your hands. I am at work through you, do, you do not, I am at work, though you do not understand my ways. I am at work through you, do you not recognize my works? I am not strange visions. I am not mysteries. Only in absolute stillness beyond self can you know me as I am. And then, but as a feeling of faith. Yet I am there. Yet I am there. Yet I hear. 
yet I answer. When you need me, I am there. Even in your pain, I am there. I am there when you pray and, and when you do not pray. I am in you and you are in me. Only in your mind can you feel separate from me. For only in your mind are the mist of yours and mine. Yet only with your mind can you know me and experience me. Empty your heart of empty fears. When you get yourself out of the way, I am there. You can of yourself do nothing, but I can do all, and I am all in all. Though you may not see the good, good is there. I am there. I am there. I am there because I have to be, because I am. Only in me does the world have meaning. Only out of me does the world take form. Only because of me does the world go forward. I am the law on which the movement of the stars and the growth of the living cells are founded. I am the love that is the law's fulfilling. I am assurance. I am peace. I am oneness. I am the law that you can live by. I am the love that you can cling to. I am your assurance. I am your peace. I am one with you. I am. Though you fail to find me, I do not fail you. Though your faith in me is unsure, my faith in you never wavers because I know you, because I love you. Beloved, I am there. So that wonderful poem, that piece of beautiful literature speaks to the idea that we're never alone and we're never separate. We're never separate. We never there, there sometimes may be that sense of separation, but we're never separate from the power and the presence of God. So God's protective presence, his care, is with us always. And I want you to remember that God is more powerful than any condition, than any circumstance, than any diagnosis, than any person, than any event. God's protective presence is with you. Faith. Faith takes commitment. It takes persistence. It takes risk. It takes courage. But faith can help us in every situation. And there, there are a few steps that we need to remember. That is, be expectant, be confident, and don't allow discouragement to take over. Keep your faith centered on what you want to experience and then feel it, see it, accentuate the positive. Don't dwell on symptoms or mistakes or misfortunes. Refuse to be worried or disturbed by conditions, persons, or circumstances. Remember, God is always greater. God is always there. Bigger than any concern, any diagnosis, any person, any misfortune. Have faith that God is doing his mighty work. There is one power, one intelligence, an intelligence which knows far more than you do or I do. And we need to trust that power. We need to trust that intelligence. Do you need me? I am there. God bless you. And have a wonderful week.